I'm Mark, and I'm uh, working as a lecturer here, uh, and I present uh, something that's for a young friend. Now that's a computer game that I developed to assess personality, in this case, the unseemity trait, or sometimes referred to as integrity. I'm just going to briefly tell what this game is about, and uh, whether we can use it for personnel selection. Um, in general, uh, personality is still assessed for uh, selection uh, situations by self-report inventories, like the one you see here on the screen. There are some downsides uh, to using these kinds of self-reports, because people, especially in high-stakes selection situations, can fake their answers. They can present themselves more favorably than they are. Uh, these kinds of inventories are often subject to uh, social desirability and uh, job applicants do not really like completing these long 200 item <coughs> questionnaires. So, what we did, we were going to develop a computer game to assess personality. People uh, in this game build <coughs> docs, will develop their own doc, they start from an empty doc, and to create this doc with the three other uh, people on the screen, these are computer uh, editors, they have to uh, play several economic games. They have to divide money. This money is used to develop the harm. And in this way, this is from previous research, has also been found to uh, be able to predict uh, it's related to unsuitability. We use this to infer uh, this trait. We use a novel uh, tool, it's called virtual behavior cues. These are uh, customization choices so how people design their avatars, or in this case, what kind of Windows, they went for the car, and how they designed this car, which is also related to uh, unsuitability. And we use this as a reward, so how people customize uh, their doc. And finally, uh, we use situational judgment tests, which are actually multiple choice questions that people read a scenario and then choose something, uh, and they will get feedback on this. And again, we use this to inform personality. Wow. In the end, this could be your doc if you do all the right positions. Um, but every candidate will have a somewhat different doc depending on their own strategy and their behavior. And from our uh, first uh, studies, we can actually see that yes, we can use this game uh, to infer personality. It's related to self reported unsuitability, it's unrelated to the other five self-reported personality traits, and it's unrelated to intelligence. And even more importantly for uh, job selection, we can also predict relevant outcomes. We can predict the cheating task, so whether people uh, flip a coin and self-report whether they have heads or tails, and that they are paid for heads. We don't really know whether uh, someone actually cheated, but we can use this kind of test to probabilistically tell whether somebody has cheated. And this game is even better predictor of this kind of outcome than self-reported unsuitability uh, inventory. So it's exciting that we can use this game, and this is our, one of the first uh, uh, researches that we've ever conducted on this. So there's an exciting future for this uh, uh, task to be used in personal selection. Thank you. Any questions? My question. Hi, um, it sounds really fascinating. I was curious with the car window. Um, was that, a, you said it was a reward, or was that like a measure of openness? Like more open people want to clear window? Yeah, uh, in this case, it's actually unsuitability. So whether people uh, wear uh, sunglasses, tainted windows in this case, or open glasses, uh, was one of the ways that we assess unsuitability. But in the game, you also use this. Uh, to assess openness to experience, or whether they have a more extravagant kind of car or office in this case. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we have a background on that too. Thank you. Okay, good. One shirt? Yeah, it's a good question. How long does it take? Uh, about 45 minutes uh, for a game to play. Though.